stuff you just had. You presented what the ordinance is, it has been uh, amended to or either ruled on or either verified. And, and that's it. And then you you ain't got you ain't got nothing to say. Shoot, I did all that and the, the judge, you know, he said he felt the state met their obligation to prove the case. And I asked, you know, based off what what evidence we said the officer's testimony, I'm like, Well, I had a testimony too. Right, I right. What picture. Right, and, and and so they can't and by law they can't discount your testimony or your direct evidence. That's called direct evidence. It ain't circumstantial. Circumstantial is when uh, you went to bed at 8 o'clock and wasn't no snow on the ground. Then you wake up in the morning and there's no snow on the ground. And then, and then somebody must have made a snowman. That's circumstantial evidence because didn't nobody see it. You didn't see it. So when you woke up, it was there. That's just like when somebody found a gun in your car that was used to, to shoot somebody else with. But your hand, for instance, is not on it. They saying it's your gun, so it had to be you. That's circumstantial. Mm. It's a difference. And di direct evidence is when people see you fire the gun or rob the bank and try to get away, and they got you on videotape. Mm. That's direct evidence. A guy that looked like you that did it, that's circumstantial. You might have had on black sneakers, black converses. Could have been at home with a bare sleeve. Somebody else did it. Same shoes. Same blue jeans. Now you get picked out of a lineup on circumstantial evidence. Circumstantial doesn't hold up in court. Right. It, 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 most mm -hmm. of the time it don't. Okay. It, it, and if it do hold up in court, it usually get kicked out on appeal. Because the appeal, appeals courts analyze weight of the evidence under another standard. Sub substandard sub, sub, sub and good faith. That's the, the, the appeal courts go by. They look at the judge's ruling. They come to him, well, we've managed to overrule you. And they call him on the phone. Got to overturn this one. And, and But the judge already knew that uh, the state didn't meet the burden. But if you become a lawyer, they will tell you, guess what, you guaranteed five cases a month. Just do what just do what the prosecutor tells you to do. Because the judge has got it all in place already. They're going to find you guilty. It's part of the game. Don't even get upset. It's like, you like, yeah, how? How? Don't worry about that. I've been fighting 19 years. John Ryan, tell me right now. Get money. We get money. Mm -hmm. They trying to be successful. All of attorneys coming coming out of law school, eighty five percent of them is flying to get in the, to get to work for the court. And that's that's guaranteed bread. Right, right. Prosecution. Even if they're on the other side, they still got a job to do. Very seldom you get a public defender that's going to enforce. For the, 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 the provisions in a local town hall. Very self. That's why you got to go in there with them. How you doing? I got your attorney sitting right next to you. And uh, he probably scared to death. <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and, and he's looking to prosecute him. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> And then he go back to the judge with, hey, look, man, this brother, man, he got the pictures, he got, he been to UD or somewhere. Because he stayed exactly how we got overturned last time. Well, just let it run through, let it run through. We, 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 all right. we got friends in the appeals court. They ain't going to block our eye. They just, we probably reverse it, send it back, or even dismiss it. That's real talk. This is like niggas on the street. And uh, they don't call it conspiracy, though. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we are uh, right here in little bitty U.S. of A. getting prosecuted as part of the process. You know, keeping America moving. That, that, that's the way they look at it. 
That's why you see some people just to just just pay their tickets with no fight, right? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Two, three, four, five hundred dollars. Yeah. And just do it. And they they believe that this is the democracy. This is federalism. We're gonna keep our country strong. Give the law enforcement, the courts, our dollars, our our, our tax dollars. And uh, and they kind of look at you like that. Yeah, that's a paying citizen. A paying, they call you a paying citizen. So what's the first thing a person would do when they get stopped by the police for a traffic ticket? What's the first thing they should do? I uh, just um, crack your window and ask him, uh, what's the problem? And then if you um, get the response that you that that you think is fair, then you just wait on him. <laughs> what if you don't get a fair, uh, so-called fair answer? And then, um, you know, you can do a couple of things. You, you can ask for his badge number, cruiser number, and ask the, and ask what his supervisor's name is. Because mm. you feel you've been your data, you've been targeted or or, or either harassed. And uh, this is an ongoing pattern because they already know you're in the system. And those certain things you got to request if you feel you're going you're gonna to take this to court. Right. Because if you don't request it on, on the spot, it's going to be hard for you to subpoena in uh, any other witnesses that that did their superiors. Um, one of the, you know the case I went through, mm -hmm. the one you sat in trial with. Yeah. I was able to subpoena in the, uh, in, in the internal affairs. Uh, I subpoenaed in the uh, the officer who who uh, who would do the dispatching. So yeah. you, you say now you got to ask for something before you even go to court, like when they are arresting. You? Well, uh, I mean, it, 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 as far as what you ask the officer on the street, it, it could be very vital to to your case. Okay. Because if you ask them certain questions on the street, then he say that you didn't make those statements. That will be used against him. Because if an office, office called committed perjury or any part of the case, it can be dismissed under Rule 29. Rule 29. That's a, uh, motion to, a verbal motion to dismiss once there's been a break in the case. During trial or at the end of trial, you can stand up and ask for a Rule 29. That's federal? That's state. 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 In criminal cases. Hmm. Okay, so after, so what else would you request once you've gone to court? Once they say he gave you a ticket, now you're going to court. I guess you're going to what, pre trial first or basically it, it it's all about well, you know, every case is different. Okay. It depends on the demographics of the stop. Was was anything was uh, you arrested? Uh, was anything taken out of the vehicle? Uh, did they violate the Fourth Amendment by illegal search and seizure? Uh, or did they deprive you of, of any other right uh, during, during the arrest or just to stop itself? So it's basically going gonna to be going to boil down to what you want to do with the case itself. Because the ball is in your court once these one wants to stop the thing. Okay, so say you, well, what would be something you do first? If you were stopped and you were just given a ticket, you weren't necessarily arrested or there wasn't anything necessarily found? I myself, I've taken all my cases to uh, trial. You, you've seen one of them. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, you heard for yourself the officer telling lies on the witness stand. 